according to this map, Jesus' blood is somewhere over there. The spear is sensing the blood. We won't last five minutes out there. It's not too late to use it. Hard to imagine that when joined with their siblings, they're as powerful as God. But right now, that's just a useless piece of wood. It's not useless. I know ten different ways to kill someone with this. Yeah, not to mention it's great for scratching those hard-to-reach places. Please don't tell me you use the Spear of Destiny as a back scratcher. Who said anything about my back? More so the sack. Gross. I've called in Jack. To help with our final mission, as we are quite understaffed. No Myra, Jenny or Caitlin. Our new recruits are off on a holiday in the Bahamas, right when we need them. So, we need some help. And I'm not waiting for them, because we need to act, and we need to act fast. Thank you for including us. It'll be nice to work with you again after so long. Likewise. Well, as demonstrated, in the wrong hands, this divine artifact can be put to truly horrific use. Yeah, that's true. Thanks for inviting me on this mission, too. I know I'm not Delta or a legend, but thanks all the same. I thought we could do with some luck, Mr. Alicanto, especially with Myra and Jenny gone, and Caitlin no longer with us. Damn. We really are understaffed. Which is why I called this meeting. We need to figure out how to keep it out of the League's hands. Where's Curtis? Curtis said he wasn't feeling up to socializing. He said he'll go along with whatever we decide. What is there to decide? We find the League and steal back their pieces of the spear. There's no need to find the League. I know where they've been operating out of. Why keep it a secret? Let's just go get them. The reason... Why you've been unable to locate them is because he's been hiding in the rubble of the old space fleet. Well, the three of them. The four. The energy from the Oculus has been shrouding them in secrecy. How do you know about it? I am Lord Destiny, remember? I see all. Damn. I forgot. We're in position. Stand by. The pieces of the spear call to each other. We will be able to use this and locate the pieces in the League's position. That's why we're separating into two teams. Derek, shall we? Are you sure bringing our pieces of the spear was a good idea? If this goes wrong... Then the League have the whole spear. So we have to be careful. I thought it's in the last of that place. Let's not make it a habit. One. I appear to be getting considerable vibrational energy from this. Kieran! Get out of here! No. Now we doubt you, Kieran. Ryan said I got a hold of this stick from the building's floor. So I'm holding this stick. Now leave! Hi. I'm sorry, friend. For what? Get him out of here. Now. No. Just do it. You're a hero to me. Kieran. We gotta go. This is a heist. You think this is what Bobby wants? Us waiting around to get caught? Probably not. Hold on now. That looks like something you'd hide stuff in. Yes, it does. Derek and I may have found the other piece of the spear. What's your favourite snack? Tonic's wafers. Why? You'll see little transmutation trick I've been working on. 
both impressive and delicious, Captain Lance. We have the rest of the spear. Everyone get the hell out of here. This can't be happening. They're not smart enough for this. What the hell? Face a cake. Whoa, you thought that was easy? Nah, I just want a piece of cake. Or maybe a beer. Later. Where's the spear? What's that? That's power. The other pieces of the spear are calling to each other. They long to be whole. Okay, that just happened. Remarkable. No, 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 don't, don't touch it. Now the spear is whole, it will try to lure each of us to use it. It will draw on our weaknesses, our desires, our regrets. It will promise each of us that we can remake the world just as we want. What's wrong with that? What? Oh, come on. You're all thinking it. Absolute power corrupts, Mr. Jones, even when used with the best of intentions. Which is why I attempted to destroy it. You didn't try hard enough. Kiri, don't! Not on the ship, man. He said destroy, so I destroyed. It's not damaged. It's not even charred. Any harm brought upon the spear will be temporary. It will always heal itself. That's why you kept the pieces apart. Wait a second. There's something written on it. That's odd. Wasn't there before? Must have been revealed by the flames. See? I did, El. Natum de sanguine, perdita sa sanguine. Anyone know Latin? Natum de sanguine, perdita sa sanguine. Born of blood, undone by blood. What does that mean? Look, we finally have the spear, we just need to figure out what to do with it. We need a way to protect it. You don't. You destroy it. Yes, well, I've tried that, Dr. Shepard. It is impervious to destruction. No, it's not. Born of blood, undone by blood. Pretend we're not historians, Curtis. Born of blood because the blood of Christ gave the spear power. Undone by blood because it's the only thing that can destroy it. How did I not know this? I'm Catholic. Not like they'd bring it up in class. Now you're talking. Thursday, plot a course to the crucifixion. Don't you dare, Thursday. Look, throughout history, there are certain moments whose integrity are crucial. The birth, life and death of Jesus Christ are all such moments. Any interference, no matter how minuscule, could have disastrous effects for the time stream. We cannot go there, ever. Look, I understand that, but if this is the only way to destroy the spear, it's not. It's not the only way. Now, I'm not a historian, but isn't it impossible to obtain the blood of Christ without Christ? Actually, it is. I did a year abroad at Oxford whilst working on my master's, and in between dating this girl, Wendy, I remember reading this unpublished paper by a scholar from the early 20th century. Now, this scholar had a far-fetched theory about Sir Gawain, that the knight returned from the Crusades not with the Holy Grail, but with something more valuable. The blood of Christ. Exactly. Now, the paper states Gawain had this vial of blood on his person up to his death. He was buried with it somewhere in the north of France. Somewhere in the north of France. It's a big area, Curtis. I know, but if anyone knows where to start looking, it's this guy. John Ronald Ruel Tolkien. You're kidding. Guy who wrote The Hobbit and The Lord of the Rings. Lewis, you were interested in history when we were part of that team with Jason. Do you remember anything about this? A little. John Tolkien was in the north of France, 1916, during the Battle of the Somme as a second lieutenant in World War I. Looks like we're going back to war. <laughs> Temper, temper! Don't test me, Damien. Shouldn't it be the other way round? 
You sent Irene, Malcolm and me off to go find the Calibrus manuscript whilst the legends managed to abscond with the Spear of Destiny. I should have that zombie speedster you're so afraid of eat your brain. Wait, this is actually good. <laughs> Maybe he's already eaten your brain. With the Spear in the legend's possession, we no longer have to go after it piecemeal. I'm a glass half full kind of guy, but I'm so dumb. I'm not sure if you're keeping score, Carter, but we're losing. So it's time to change the game. All right, we better be careful. The sum was one of the bloodiest battles in human history. <laughs> Sounds terrible. I'm in. We're all in. We'll be easy finding Tolkien in all this mess. According to military records, Second Lieutenant Tolkien was, well, he contracted trench fever and was transferred back to the first aid outpost to await transportation back to Britain. Perfect. Lucy, take the Backstreet Boys, intercept Tolkien. We're at the outpost. It's a madhouse. Spread out to cover more ground. Stay on comms and be careful. Lewis said that Tolkien was ill. We should search amongst the injured. Mr. Jones, Miss Knight, will you go look in the triage? Let me guess. We get the fun part. I always wanted to visit the sum. Just without, you know, all the warfare going on. Hey, you will be fine. <laughs> Lucy, any sign of Tolkien? I don't know. There was so much suffering. So many injured. Please. Please help me. Just try to stay still. Let me see what we're dealing with. I don't want to die alone. You won't. My, 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 how the mighty have fallen. He said that the last time you appeared. You've picked a hell of a time to show up. Kind of in the middle of something here. <laughs> yeah. In the middle of being a Geth or Doggy for yourself for one of these. You want a treat too? Stay on mission. No. I've got to find this Hobbit guy. J.R.R. Tolkien? Hmm. Hoping for an autograph. I don't even know who the guy is. All I know is I've got to find him. This little hobbit guy. You know the guy who's buried Jesus. You know Jesus' blood. Then we can destroy the Spear of Destiny. Kieran, Kieran, Kieran. When have we ever stole something valuable and destroyed it? Let alone something this valuable. I mean, Jesus. What have they done? How the hell are we supposed to find anyone here? What? I said, how are we. Tolkien! Lieutenant Tolkien! Yes, yes, that's me. He's very ill. He's got to come with us. This man is burning with a fever. We're taking him out of here now. We have him, but he's in no condition to talk. Get him to the extraction point, we'll meet you there. Mr. Jones, steal us an ambulance, would you? On it. Whatever happened to the guy who took orders from nobody? I respected the hell out of that man. But now, this? Sit Kieran. Fetch Kieran. 
Oh, you're a good boy. You want a treat? It's pathetic. Hey, I'm no one's pet. Sure you are. They may act friendly in front of you, but they'll never trust you. Never. When the chips are down, they'll look at you the same way they look at me. As Doug. But you and me, we're partners. At least we were partners. But we can partners again. Take the spirit of Destiny, Karen. Use it for yourself. Do it for us. There is no us. You're dead. I don't have to be, you know. Kieran, come on. With the spear, it would be so easy to bring me back. You know you want to. You're in my head. You're an illumination. A hallucination? Yeah, that's right. That's what I said. I must be hallucinating. Actually, we took the liberty of curing your typhoid fever, Lieutenant Tolkien. You? I knew you weren't volunteers. Your accent alone was horrendous. You I'll have you know I played Bert in my middle school production of Mary Poppins. Thank you. Who are you then? German? Ottoman? And where on God's earth have you brought me? Somewhere the less talked about, the better. But I am actually British. These lot are American. My friend Curtis is a historian. He has some questions. In your paper, The Burden of the Purest Heart, you described the final resting place of Sir Gawain. I never actually published that paper. How, how did you... It's hard to explain, but we need to know where the knights are buried. You abducted me from the middle of a battlefield to ask about an old myth. There is a war on you for... And I can imagine that the views from the trenches are pretty bleak. But I've been in my fair share of war. This will get better. What does it look like from your perspective? It looks to me like the end of the world. But it's not. Believe me, this darkness will pass. You speak as someone who's seen the future. Haven't all students of history? I was born in the future. I'm from the year 2156. I travelled to the past and lived till the present. It gets better. I should like to believe you. Tell me, why'd you seek the grave of Gawain? It's a long story. The Church of Amiens, built in the 1600s. For centuries, it was a shelter, a refuge, now just a place for marauding armies to squat. Look closely, but be careful. Returning knights to the Crusades were known to hide their relics so only the worthy could find them. They set traps for those who aren't so worthy. That's me, folk, then. Ah, they're so close. They're finishing each other's warnings. Jealous, Ryan? Shut up. I think I found something. This has got to be worth a fortune. Don't bite the relics. Hey! Don't steal the relics. Now, if I'm not mistaken, the inscription's written in... Proto-Celtic. It says, follow the outlier, then push further still. But what is the outlier? Look at this. Three rubies. One emerald. Then push further still. Structure's been damaged from all the fighting. <laughs> Sir Gawain, I presume. Hey, look at this shield. It's an engraving. Pretty pathetic. I mean, if you ask me. Mr. Shepard. You're supposed to be dead. Yeah. They told me I could all soft and die for you losers. I didn't believe it. Believe who? Well, if that's not an entrance line, I don't know what is. What is going on here? The League must have travelled back in time, picked up Mr. Shepard before he joined the Legends. Curtis? Bobby, I'm not the Curtis you know. That's right. Curtis Shepard here is an historian from Terra Prime. A war-torn world, yet he abandoned it for... You don't get to judge me. Back to the task at hand. You can thank your boy Kieran for giving us information about how you're going to destroy the spear. Thanks for the tip, Kieran. I didn't think he was real. No, no, no. No need to defend yourself. 
Actually, there is. Engrave! <laughs> You actually care about these losers? Karen, come on. Let's go. So, Bobby's alive. And he's working with the League. It's not just the League, though, is it, Karen? You got something to say to me? You told him about our plan to destroy the spear. I thought I was saying things. Whether he was a hallucination or not, the fact that you told him about our plan speaks volumes. I thought he was a fucking ghost. He's my best friend. I think what everyone is trying to say is that they're worried that if it came down to a decision between us and Bobby... You would choose Shepard in a heartbeat. Yeah, he's my friend. You guys aren't exactly being friendly right now. When was the last time one of you decided to go for a drink with me? Without the rest of the team, hmm? It's always me that has to do the asking. It should be the way around. I feel like I'm the one that's always doing the effort. That's why I drink alone. You guys, you, you don't trust me. Can you blame us? Our concern is that your blunder with Shepard confirms one thing. That you haven't truly given up your ways as a thug. Is that what you think then, Captain? Hmm? Kieran, we just need you to be careful. This is fascinating. Apparently the spear will glow in the presence of divine blood. Yeah. It also revealed a message when Kieran lit it on fire. The secret only fire can tell. <laughs> How marvelous. So, unless you want to wander all over France for this thing to glow, I suggest we figure out this map. <laughs> you okay? I'm afraid I suffer from what is known in the trenches as a shell shock. Although, some would prefer to call it a common cowardice. Says a guy who dodged bullets to get a grave drawing. Give me a break. Prove I belong in a library and not on a... Battlefield. I know where we have to go to destroy the spear. Where? The middle of hell on earth. According to this map, Jesus' blood is somewhere over there. The spear is sensing the blood. We won't last five minutes out there. It's not too late to use it. Brigadier, if we could request a moment of your time. We are in the midst of battle. There are no moments. Mm. Lieutenant Tolkien, I was told you were suffering from trench fever. And you better be, else I report you as a deserter. Captain Lance, Royal Army Medical Corps. Now, I can assure you that this man is no deserter. As such, we have an urgent entreaty. We need you to contact German command and request a ceasefire. How dare you waste my time? We're on the verge of taking Gillimont. Gillimont can wait. There is a greater battle at hand, one that concerns all of humanity. Both sides must lay down their arms, or all shall be lost. Sir, latest casualty report. 2,300 dead. Nearly 8,000 wounded. All has already been lost. Perhaps our friends on the German side are having more luck. You've issued me to order our artillery to stop shelling the enemy. Just long enough so that we can rescue the wounded and the British can rescue theirs. I will order our batteries to stop firing when they stop firing on us. We don't have time with the League on our six. The British are advancing. Now's our best chance to move. Watch each other's backs and we'll make it to the ship alive. What 
is it with me and the Nazis? Wrong world war, Kieran. They're Huns, not Nazis. Well, if he's not going to give us the order for a ceasefire, then we'll have to do it ourselves. What frequency are we on? Three megahertz. Thursday, set the chrysalis to receive the signal and hijack all communication on the battlefield. I've not done this in a while. What's he doing? Who knows? He's doing what he does best. Being a leader. Attention all combatants. May I have your attention, please? There are casualties on the battlefield. Brave men on both sides who are in urgent need of medical attention. I know that the divisions in us run deep. That they may very well be insurmountable. But I implore both of our armies for this one moment to come together as allies and come to a ceasefire. So that the injured may be removed from the field of battle. There may come a day when our courage fails us. When we forsake our friendships and break the bonds of fellowship. But today is not that day. And perhaps in showing our humanity, we might just save it. Through action, all of us men become heroes. Through death, a hero becomes a legend. Through time, a legend becomes myth. And by learning that myth, a man action and by taking action the myth becomes reality and reality can be whatever we want it to be and if your soul is red you have determination so perhaps in showing our humanity we might just save each other. It worked. Alex has always had a way with words. That's gotta be it. That's the blood of Christ. You're so predictable. Though I have to admit, negotiating a ceasefire in the midst of a well war, pretty impressive. Maybe they want to hear our peace terms. It's quite simple, really. <laughs> Why is he laughing? Well, you could give me the spear. <laughs> or I can take it from you. Sorry, guys, you've reached the end of your quest. You're right. I'm gonna end this now. Kieran, give me the spear. Are you really letting a woman tell you what to do? I mean, a pretty woman like that. But all the same woman. Fuck off, Bobby! Mm, why is the... I like that. Hey, man, we're your friends. Kieran. You're better than this. You see, Karen doesn't have friends. But he does have partners. What's it gonna be, kid? He's messing with your head, man. Ever since I've been on that ship, you people have been trying to change me. Good man. I hereby declare the armistice over. Great. Now we're all gonna die. I wish things could have been different there. Thursday, we need extraction. 
The spear is not only in the hands of one, but four psychopaths. Don't forget Kieran. That's right. We trusted him and he betrayed us. Did we trust him? <laughs> I mean, admit it. We never really did and he picked up on it. Yeah, apparently Mr. Jones is not entirely stupid. We lied to him. Not Kieran, but Tolkien. We told him there was hope. That humanity will light its way, but we ended up just dumping him back in the trenches. We had to restore time. Although I suppose it doesn't really matter much now that reality itself is threatened. Maybe not. Last time I checked, there wasn't an on-off switch on the spear. What if they don't know how to use it? I have to say, well done. I've heard of your skills as a thief before, but this has taken it to an entirely new level. Truly masterful, getting one of them to steal it for us. He was never really one of them. Who are you now, Kieran? I thought you said the spear belonged to us. There's plenty of power to go around. Calm down. Thanks for waiting for me. Seems like I missed a few things. You found the Calibros. The word of God himself. It's, it's like, like the owner's manual for the Spear of Destiny. It wasn't easy to find. Now what? Grab hold. Elil, Balakma, Bakir, Eshem, Elil, Balakma.